Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Arnold Ranga Kuramia and this is Kisembo Academy. Right before you is a bank statement and a cash book. If you look at this bank's uh, this cash book right here, you're able to see that it's having a credit balance. Now we all know that cash books normally have debit balances. Or in other words, the cash account normally has a debit balance. Cash being an asset, the normal balance for assets is normally debit. But in this case, when you look at this cash book, now when you look at this cash book, we've only extracted the bank column. So the bank column, according to this, it's showing a credit balance of 308 shillings. Now that credit balance of 308, this is what we call an overdraft. Now an overdraft simply means that an entity withdrew more money than it had in the bank. And because it withdrew more money than it had in the bank, you end up having a negative balance on the cash book. In this case, we are having a cash overdraft of 308 shillings. So now we have been doing bank reconciliation statements with RIF when we were only having a debit balance. Now, what if we are having a credit balance or what if we are having a bank overdraft? How do we manufacture the bank reconciliation statement in this kind of scenarios? So this is a practical illustration that I'm going to show you on how to go about this. And at the end of this video, you'll be able to realize that the way we handle the adjusting entries when we are dealing with a cash book that has a debit balance is not any different from the way we do it when we are having a cash book with a bank overdraft. So let's get started. Here we have this cash book. Um, this is the bank overdraft. Then we are having a bank statement as well. It is reflecting bank overdraft or what you're seeing here as O slash D O D O D simply means overdraft, overdraft, overdraft. So meaning that uh, for this particular entity, the bank uh, is having an overdraft of um, 423. This is the overdraft as at the bank statement. And of course, you can see that the overdraft as at the bank statement is not... Um, it is not the same as the overdraft as at the cash book. So we need to reconcile these two. Now, for purposes of this illustration, this cash book is already adjusted. That's why we've written it as adjusted cash book. So uh, like I had earlier pointed out in our earlier sessions, the process of bank reconciliation begins with us comparing what is here that is not here. So in other words, we get to our bank statement and we compare the records in the bank statement and we try to see which of these records that are here that are not fed in here. So we go ahead and find the records that are not here and try and adjust our cash book. So after feeding in everything that is here to make sure that it is in our accounting records at our business, that is when we come up with the adjusted cash book. So this is an adjusted cash book. That first phase was done. So this adjusted cash book gave us an overdraft. So this overdraft is as per this adjusted cash book. And we said that if our adjusted cash book balance is still not the same as our bank statement balance, then it simply means that there are things here that are not here. So the things that are here that are not here are what we handle in the bank reconciliation statements. These are checks that we received and these are checks that we issued. So it is one of these sides, it's one of these checks. Either it is a check that we received or a check that we issued that has not yet been reflected in this bank statement. And it is either an unpresented check or an uncredited check. An unpresented check is a check that we have issued to one of our clients and they have just simply not yet presented it to our bank so that our bank deducts the money and pays them. So we are going to find out which one of these checks that was not presented. And of course, these figures here on the debit side of the cash book represent the checks that we have received. When we receive a check, we'll go ahead and take that check to the bank. Now, 
if one of these checks is not yet being reflected in our bank statement, it simply means that whereas we have recognized that we have received this money from one of maybe our customers, this check has simply not yet been credited to our account. And so those are what we call uncredited checks. So let's first identify which ones are missing here. This is the debit side of the cash book. This is the credit side. I already explained in our previous session that when we receive cash in the cash book, we debit. When we are giving out cash, we credit. But however, when it comes to the bank, it is different. I explained why in our previous session. In, in, in our bank statement, it is the reverse. When we put money in the bank account, it, the bank credits our account. And when we are removing money, it debits the account. I explained why it is so in our previous session. So let's get to it. Let's look at the checks that we received. We have, first of all, we have a balance. The opening balance for this cash book was a credit balance of 709, which is a bank overdraft. So that one is already there and there. Then we, let's start with here, the checks that we the things that are on the debit side of the cash book should correspond to the things that are on the credit side of the bank statement. So Chagulanyi here, we have uh, a check that we received here from Chagulanyi 308308. We have a check received from Museveni 120, 120. Then we have a check we received from Mwebaze 124, 124. Then we have a check we received from Kabuleta 106. This one is not reflected on the credit side, so we put a star there. So if this is a check, we received this check from Kabuleta and we recognized that we received this money in our cash book. However, we went and took this check to the bank. However, the bank, at the time of receiving this bank statement, the bank has not yet credited our bank statement. So it means the calculator check is what we call an uncredited check. Let me write it like that. That's an uncredited check. So we point it out like that. Then we come back this way. We have Motebo here. These are now checks we issued. We issued a check to Motebo, 140. And when we issued it, he presented it and it, our bank was debited. We issued a check to Katumba. Oh yeah, Katumba, 63 and 63 shillings. And well, Katumba is still seated on the check. Katumba has not yet presented the check to the bank so that his money is deducted from our bank statement or from our bank accounts. So because Katumba's money is not reflected here, it means Katumba has not yet presented the check. So because Katumba has not yet presented the check to our bank so that our bank account is debited, we call this an unpresented check. It's not yet been presented. Then we come here, United Trust, 77. This one, we issued her a check and, yeah, 77, actually it was a standing order. Yep. And then we have bank charges of 49 here. Of course, these ones were already adjustments that were made in the cash book here. The United Trust and Bank Charges, these were adjustments that were made in the cash book. Now, as far as the bank reconciliation is concerned, we only already, we have this uncredited check of 106 and this unpresented check of 63. So now that we have identified the items that we are going to handle in our bank reconciliation statement, now we can go ahead and prepare our bank reconciliation statement. Just one thing to point out here, that when we are dealing with, after adjusting our cash book, the bank reconciliation statement is, the part where we deal with the bank reconciliation statement, handles unpresented checks, uncredited checks, and errors that have been made in the bank statement. Those three items are the ones that are handled in the bank reconciliation statement. All the other items are handled in the adjusted cash book. And those other items we discussed earlier, things like uh, bank charges, direct debits, direct credits, errors in the cash book, and so forth. So let's go on and start constructing our bank reconciliation statement. 
So what we're having here is our bank reconciliation statement. So we shall begin overdraft as per ad adjusted cash book. Our overdraft as per our adjusted cash book is 308. So I'll come here and say this is 308. Then we're supposed to add unpresented checks. I think I have been explaining why we add unpresented checks. Remember, an unpresented check is a check that, for example, this one is an unpresented check. We gave Katumba money. We recognized here in our cash book that money has left our, car, our bank. However, Katumba has not yet presented this money to the bank so that money in our bank is actually deducted to pay him. So because that has not yet happened, it technically means that that money still exists on our bank account. So because our money still exists, the 63, so we shall add it back. Because here, by crediting here, we had subtracted it. Now we need to add it back. So that's why we add unpresented check. So we shall add an unpresented check there of 63. So when we add this, now this is like 308. 308 is a negative number because it's overdraft. It's a negative number. Okay, I think I just realized an error here. Um, this is supposed to be 308, not 308. The balance here is 380. I apologize for that error. This is supposed to be 380. 380, that's the balance, not 308. That was an error. So it means that overdraft as per our adjusted cash book here is 380 right there. So 380 is a negative number here. So it is 380 as a negative 380 add unpresented checks. Our unpresented checks are 63. So when we add those two, we end up with 317. So after adding our 300 and getting 317, then we're supposed to subtract uncredited checks. In this case, our uncredited check is a check that we received from Kabuleta. We received this check, we took it to the bank, and the bank has not yet credited it to our account. In other words, we have recognize this as money that we have received but it has not yet reflected in the bank statement this technically means that we have not actually yet we haven't received this money it is still a transaction that is in process it's still it has not yet matured so we'll remove this from we subtract it from our adjusted cash book balance since the money has not yet reached our bank so our uncredited check here we shall go ahead and uh, remove this 300 and uh, this 106. So when we subtract, of course, this this is an, a negative also as well. Negative 380 plus 63 gives us negative 317. So negative 317 plus negative 106, we shall end up with um, negative. 423 now this 423 that we have ended up with so happens to be the overdraft that is at our bank statement in other words our bank reconciliation statement has explained the variance between the adjusted cash book balance and the cash book balance so this is the balance as per bank statement which so happens to be an overdraft so from this simple illustration you're able to realize that the adjustments needed to to reconcile a bank overdraft according to an entry's cash book with the bank statement balance are the same as those needed when the account is not overdrawn in our upcoming sessions, we will be doing more worked examples on the bank reconciliation statement. My name is Arnold Ranga Kuramia, and thanks for tuning in. Like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you've not yet subscribed. Check out other accounting lectures on the channel.